I remember the day that Governor Hutchinson went on TV and told us that the schools were going to be shut down. Then you see the country slowly start to shut down, almost like lights in a gymnasium slowly shutting off. It can be really terrifying. It was really terrifying. I remember sitting on the couch with my husband, watching and talking about the news coverage of the growing pandemic when the thought hit me. TV, that's the way. Arkansas PBS reached out to us and said, hey, how can we help? We're here, let us know. How could we use and leverage the quality programming that was available to our students in our state and pair that with high quality teachers um, and lessons to, to kind of create this partnership? When the opportunity was presented to me shortly thereafter to be one of the hosts of the AMI shows, I immediately said yes. I honestly reacted before I even thought about it. I was like, absolutely, I will do that. That sounds amazing. I get to pretend to be Mr. Rogers. I thought that maybe I could make a little bit of difference during a time where a lot of students and teachers' worlds had been rocked. It's Monday morning. Oh, the songs. Coming up with the songs. Uh, you know, that was just a, how do we make this fun? And, you know, if you would have asked me, uh, prior to this experience, would you ever sing or play an instrument on TV? I would have said, no way. Let's kind of, you know, uh, help help students just see, you know, what, what's it like to be back in class? Like, we want those experiences. Uh, so how can we provide that through, through Arkansas AMI? In the classroom this year, a lot of my kindergartners, when they came into school for the first day, they were like, oh! You're the one from TV. Are we going to be on TV? And so it really was neat getting to connect with parents and students from all over. Hands down, the messages that still tug at my heart are the ones from parents telling me how much my presence meant to them or their child and how they would have children that were not in my band or grade level watching my episodes just so they could see someone who had skin or hair like them. I can scream and shout all day long that representation matters, but it means a whole lot more when parents and students articulate that. For two years, the Arkansas Arts Center, with support from the Arkansas Arts Council, developed an in-school residency combining the art of puppetry with the skills and processing of engineering. But with the pandemic closing schools, we could not implement it as planned. We look for ways to pivot using the content created to help support students and educators and saw the incredible work that Arkansas PBS was doing in service of that mission with AMI programming. We reached out to see how our two organizations might work together to create a piece for broadcast in the final AMI programming week focused on STEM learning. Thus, Blueberry's Clubhouse was born. Everybody, I'm Blueberry, and this is my clubhouse, and this is my periscope. Come on with me on a super fun adventure. Arkansas AMI and Arkansas PBS did an incredible job of continuing to educate students at a time where education was not being offered through the traditional system. And so it was so wonderful to be able to be a part of that and offer quality programming inside of what they were offering to students. And the collaboration during this time was really just what students needed to get a, get a feeling that they were outside in the world, yet still, still they were confined to their homes. My whole family loved the show. I mean, what's not to love about Blueberry? It was just an incredible experience overall. Everyone was so incredibly kind and safe. Uh, they showed me so many things and they really taught me a lot about the arts and I've even picked up my own hobbies from Blueberry's Clubhouse. Making, I made a lot of puppets over the summer. <laughs> Be able to bring Arkansas, a lot of Arkansas, to people's homes while we're all stuck at home was something that was really special. I have three girls, an 11-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 3-year-old. And what I love about um, Arkansas PBS is that it actually provides a range of programming, everything from just pure uh, entertainment to what I love uh, is 
Arkansas PBS did such a quick turnaround in the COVID world to provide alternative methods of instruction. So when they're learning some aspects of math, um, what I love to be able to do every now and then is just turn on the TV and they can see it in action or see it on some show. Now, Arkansas PBS is really a, a, a unique platform uh, that is that is today serving a range of Arkansans because of COVID, but it's also providing the foundation that we need uh, to make the right decisions that's grounded in, again, real content, real history, real facts, um, and allows us to engage in the processes of decisions that are being made. The relationships and connections are the heart of education. It's the foundation of the classroom and being invited into the thousands of homes was truly, truly an honor. I was born and raised in Arkansas, and I feel such a deep personal connection with the students and the teachers in our state. So it was, it was truly a blessing to be able to help them in this way. I am very proud of our state for putting this together and for PBS, because I know it was a lot of work on their part. It's just something I'm very proud of, and it's something that a lot of teachers don't get to, you know, experience. When you think about people coming together and really collaborating in difficult times, this was that moment, and they made something very difficult look very easy. And there were so many people who worked on Arkansas AMI, and I know, I know we made a difference.